Rain in Massachusetts, and then we saw snow in Vermont, mm -hmm. Alaska. Here, we were beautiful yesterday. Yeah, so quiet, and that was uh, thanks to you know, the, where our flow is coming from. So from the southwest, sometimes they like to send us up some warmer, drier weather. Well, bring some more of it. Yeah, right. Arizona. We'll, we'll, take, yeah. It. Yeah, we'll yeah. take it. We'll take, we'll take those 80s. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't think we'll get quite there, but we do have one more nice day in the 70s good. already in the forecast for the week. So that's Perfect. good news. Uh, bad news is we've got some rain potentially to deal with first. So right now, 59 degrees outside. Calm winds and fair skies. That will start to change, though, as we head through the day. Some clouds starting to roll into the area. 57 in Nampa, 51 in Caldwell in Ontario this morning. McCall, you're waking up to 39 degrees, so a chilly start up in some of our mountains, but pretty mild, actually, for this time of the year. We've seen those numbers much colder up in Stanley already this season. Satellite and radar showing kind of a series of, uns of storms and unsettled weather impacting the region. Uh, one one line coming up here through Salt Lake, sending some heavy rain into parts of eastern Idaho. The other one here just kind of to our north and east as well, up toward the Panhandle. Low pressure sending some showers over toward northern California, Oregon, into Washington as well. Today for us, looking at a high of 67. So yesterday's high of 74, certainly warmer, but this steel is going to feel very, very nice for this time of the year. Mostly cloudy skies. It is going to get breezy this afternoon. Some winds are going to gust up toward 30 to 35 miles an hour. And we also could see an isolated shower or storm this evening around dinner time as well. Here's that look at future wind speeds. So again, the winds are actually going to be out of the southeast, even though everything is actually moving in from the southwest for us over the next couple of days. But we'll see those gusts anywhere from 30 to 35 miles an hour. So that's the kind of range we're dealing with. For the most part, though, looking at winds 15 to 20 miles an hour. This water vapor image just kind of gives you a good idea of what's coming. You can see here this low pressure system really spinning off. It's actually moving to the north as well. So it's kind of going to shift over our area and not really directly impact us. But what is going to happen is this tail end of it is kind of going to collide with the flow that's coming up from our area from the southwest. That's what's going to allow for the chance of showers here over the next 24 to 36 hours or so. On the future cast, you can see the cloud deck in place across much of southwestern Idaho throughout the day today. Count on mostly cloudy skies this afternoon. We could see a couple of those isolated showers, though, moving through right around dinner time. One model was picking up an isolated thunderstorm as well. Keep an eye out for it. This is nothing to write home about. Not a big concern for us as we head throughout the evening, but might see a few sprinkles. More widespread rain is expected in our mountains tomorrow morning. Some of this could dip down into the valley and impact your morning commute. However, as I mentioned, the models are starting to back off on this just a bit looking like any rain that we do get will be very, very light and uh, more isolated to scattered in nature tomorrow. By Wednesday, we clear out and we're warming up nicely. Precipitation, very, very unimpressive, not even really worth mentioning. Could see about, well, one to 207 inch of rain here in the valley, maybe a tiny bit more up toward McCall. Nothing measurable though, and then of course, as we head into the uh, Magic Valley today, they're gonna see the, chance, the best chance for showers and isolated storms, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers in our mountains. We'll kind of hold off for the most part for us here in Southwest Idaho. Idaho, but our temperatures again hovering in the mid 60s close to 70 degrees though in CUNA as we head toward the extended forecast though we are going to warm up as I mentioned to 71 degrees by Wednesday warmer conditions there nice on Thursday again another chance for some showers right now just a slight chance but of course we'll keep an eye on that as we head into the weekend otherwise looking gorgeous temperatures in the mid to upper 60s all the way through the extended forecast guys